and welcome to KevinandFred.com. He's Kevin, I'm Fred, and we are continuing on in our video series about the one thing. Still wearing blue. Yep. The surprisingly simple truth behind extraordinary results. Yep. Gary Keller and Jay Papazon and team. And you know what? We're going to jump right in and talk about today we're discussing a disciplined life. And you know what? It's part of the big three. Big six. Well, no, it's the big three. We've only talked about three. But it'll be the big four next week, and then it'll be the big five, and then it'll be the big six. Wow. There's actually six lies in this book, and this is number three. Okay. That's why it's the big three. Got it. A disciplined life. Yeah, and it's a lie. It is. Because we're talking about lies. Because yep. how many times have we heard people say, oh, man, I wish I had that guy's discipline. I, I wish I had that guy's discipline. I actually had something life-changing when I read this book for the first time a few months ago. Again, lucky enough to get a, an advanced copy, and I read it, and I was like, holy crap. I mean, I've heard Gary talk about that before, but... Not really. Like, I never really got it. But he talks about discipline's a lie. First of all, read the book and understand it for yourself. But one of the things about this chapter that really got me is like, listen, discipline in itself is a lie. What you need are habits. Correct. You need enough discipline to build a habit. Yeah. Because you cannot be disciplined all the time. It's just not... That's not possible. You're never going to always be disciplined. Well, that's the point. But you can build habits. That's the point, right? Everybody goes, I want to be disciplined. I want to have a disciplined life. Uh, it's, it's a little unrealistic. And I love what Gary says on page 55. He says that success is about doing the right thing, not about doing everything right. And the disciplined life makes it the, sound like you're going to make every right decision. Right the right thing, and that's a singular one? Yeah, one thing. Yeah. It's about doing the right thing, not about doing everything right. Because the point is, you know, you can have extraordinary results by just focusing on the right thing, not trying to do everything right. Yeah, it's funny how that happens. Yeah, he goes on in this book, they talk about, you probably heard, oh, it only takes 21 days to build a habit. Yep. That's actually not true. Because Jay and Gary and their research team, by the way, research team, piles and piles and piles of research that they gathered for this 230 page book. Um, I mean, they probably could have written a, a thousand page book with all the research they had. But the reality is the habits take about 66 days on average. Some a little bit less, some a little bit more. In fact, 18 to 254, but 66 was the average. There you go. So you didn't need to know that, though. As little as 18, as many as what, 254? 254. But 66 is the average day. So I actually personally wanted to build a new habit after reading this book. And I said to my wife, I'm going to do this for the next 66 days. And she said, why are you going to do this for 66 days? So I shared with her the part about 66 days and building a habit. Sure enough, and we're not quite to 66. So I'm at about... 50. Wearing brighter colored clothing? Yeah. Um, at about day 50, and it's, I mean, it's it's in there. It's there. It's already there. But I'm still making myself do it because I committed to 66 days. I love this. It's the closing line of the chapter. It says, it's why those with the right habits seem to do better than others. They're doing the most important thing regularly, and as a result, everything else is easier. It's not really discipline. It's the habit conversation, and they do the habit regularly. Yeah, the and therefore, they make it look easier, like they're so disciplined. Uh, great example, Chris Heller. If you know Chris Heller, hmm? eh, nobody knows Chris Heller. He's so quiet. Super nice guy though, right? But if you know Chris Heller, he's not real outgoing. He's not real talkative. Yeah. But he built this business being very talkative, being disciplined, be, by, then built a habit of lead generating, built a massive business while he's running Keller Williams Worldwide, has one of the top teams in Keller Williams in San Diego. Oh, by the way, Chris lives in Austin and travels outside the country all the time because he has this habit that he built over the last 28, 29 years in real estate. He's a, that's a great example. Somebody who's not very outgoing, who built a habit, and he just makes everything else look easy yep. because he got so good at that. Absolutely. And he made that, made that a habit. So if you're tired of hearing us talk about the book, go buy a copy. In fact, on our website, right click, here, just probably where you're at. I think it's down there. Click the button and buy it already. I think it's over there. Thank you. We appreciate that. Click it. Have a great day. See you. See you next week.